Hey everybody, this is Inked Up 75 coming at you today with another review. Today we're going to be doing the Glock 30S outside the waistband holster from the great people at multiholsters.com. I already did the clearing of the chamber since I don't have my tripod yet. So I'm utilizing one hand, so I already took the magazine out and there's nothing in the pipe. I do have a loaded mag right here in there high quality magazine holster that we will not even be loading into the weapon. So <clears throat> to start it out, this is the multi holster outside the waistband holster. It is very, very, very high quality Kydex. It has really smooth edges on it. So you won't have to worry about it snagging or scratching your good old pistol. It has all of your different positions that you could actually take them out and switch it up. This is your retention screw, which is set perfectly as it is. If you look at it through the bottom, some people close theirs on the end and some people leave them open. I prefer to have them open so debris won't uh, stay in there. It's easier for it to come out. You can wash it out very easy. Kydex is one thing where it, uh, <clears throat> you can wash it and it's clean. Leather, you can't wash it and it holds moisture. So a lot of people are going this way today is Kydex. This is their magazine holster for the 30S. Real nice sturdy clip right here. The thing is really sturdy. Once it's on your belt, unless you hit up on the tab, it's not coming out. <clears throat> Get little retention screws right there. One thing I wish there was a little bit more room. They're trying to streamline it, so I give them credit for that. But I wish the uh, the round wasn't so close to the bottom. But it's still gonna stay away from the body, even though it is an inside the waistband mag carrier. It'll still stay away from the body. <clears throat> I've been carrying multi holsters now for quite some time. They make a really fine product. Like I said, this is the outside the waistband, the regular quick ship holster, not the Elite. This is just the regular. I think the difference with the Elite is there's a little bit more definition in the in the mold injection and it just gets a little bit more detailed and whatnot. These are still quality quality holsters. Unlike most of your holsters like Alien Gear that you spend $34.99 on, these are up in the mids of $60 just for this holster alone. And then the mag carrier I believe is around $25. Don't quote me exactly on those prices. It could be a little bit higher or a little bit lower. It's right around that ballpark though. But people say to me a lot of times, oh I have an Alien Gear holster, cost me $35 and anything over $50 bucks is too much. Well, I'll be honest with you, you're wrong. This holster is seriously worth the money. If you're spending that much money on a on a pistol, <clears throat> like uh, five, six hundred dollars, you're not gonna want to spend thirty-five dollars on a holster that's got a bunch of screws that you have to adjust every time and take a shell off and whatnot. I mean, <clears throat> don't get me wrong, Alien Gear does make a really sweet, nice-looking holster. Um, in my opinion, there is too many screws to tighten down and when you have to bring Loctite into it and stuff like that to hold the screws in place, that just gets to be a little crazy. I'm more of a retention screw for your proper tension and that's it. For one pistol and one pistol only. This one you could use as inside the waistband, you just have to order the clips for the side they're like little hooks that they didn't send me but I will be getting them in shortly so I can wear this inside the waistband too notice the angle of the outside the waistband holster so it's gonna really really give you a snug to the body profile it's really streamlined and once again these guys are just they're phenomenal Let's see if I can do this one handed. Boom, done. 
I notice a lot with Kydex people are worried about slide wear and pistol wear on their finishes. I really these days have not seen any real bad holster wear on the Kydex holsters. They're making them so much better and more defined and the insides of them I swear that um, if you wipe them down with a silicone cloth that's how I keep mine if you say lubricated but I wipe my pistol down every day with the silicone cloth let it dry a little bit and then I put a coating inside the holster and I basically maintain I'd say probably about every week go in there with the silicone cloth clean it out lube it up and that way um, the slides all lubed up so scratching will be minimum I mean it possibly can happen don't quote me at that that it's not gonna happen I just have not experienced any major scratching some scuffs maybe stainless steel pistols tend to uh, with the kydex seem to uh, take some pinching down in here and they get some a couple marks I have one on one of my revolvers I hit it with a little bit of mother's aluminum polish took it right out looks brand new but so far as far as the Glocks go the slides have a really good finish I do say that uh, between the Smith & Wesson and the Glock finish I would prefer Smith & Wesson finish I think that the, their finish is more durable and whatnot but a Glock's a Glock, man. You're, you're buying it for the name. They're supposed to be uh, duty pistols, not your prized possession safe piece. So, all right, I want to start wrapping this up once again. This is the multi holsters inside, sorry, outside the waistband holster and inside the waistband mag holder. I'll show you the company logo, multiholsters.com is the website and they do have the clips on here that make it inside the waistband but for the sake purpose for this video I'm demonstrating and showing the outside the waistband in the green OD green I'll show you one more on the other side really nice crisp lines went in very smooth no rattling whatsoever the pistol's not coming out unless I need to get it to come out. So once again, this is the multiholsters.com outside the waistband holster for the Glock 30S. This is inked up. Catch you on the flip side. Subscribe and watch for my new videos that are coming out soon. I'm going to be doing one on the Glock 43 with a appendix inside the waistband rig. And also I will be doing another holster for the Glock 30S coming up. Thanks.